Hey guys, Sky from JSC Gaming here, and welcome back to my Let's Play on Sonic Adventure. I actually forgot to start recording before I started the level, so that's why I didn't get to see like how to get up, how to get in here, and all that stuff. So yeah, sorry about that. Anyway, um, yes, yeah, so this is actually our last level in the entire, well, not the entire game, of course, but in the um, in Sonic story actually, and. Uh, this level might be, I mean, this video might be a little long, because, uh, just because I'm trying to beat this level and the, um, boss after it, and that might take a little while, especially to be in just one video, because for some reason, I think it's like the platforming sections in this level can take, can be a lot, very time consuming. Like this one, you have to be... You have to time your jumps almost perfectly to not be hit by the spikes or fall off. So yeah, it can be kind of hard sometimes. But there's other sections where you're trying to find your way out of the room. And it's like so impossible because you don't even know where you're supposed to be going. Because there's like little pathways that you can't even see and it's really confusing. Anyways, oh I thought I just glitched there. Anyways, oh okay. That little section there when you're running in a spiral can be kind of trippy sometimes. Wait, so what's... Oh, snap. This part. This is where the glitches can get so annoying that you... Die! Hey, I'm alive. Oh. I was alive, but then I died. I don't know if that makes any sense. But, uh... Anyways. This is where the, uh... Glitches and platforming section can, like, mix and be really... Like, annoying... Because sometimes, there are times you can just fall straight through the platforms. And there's like, no, not really, I mean, there is kind of a drop. Oh, jeez. No! Seriously? What the heck was that? I mean, that was not even fair. Well, I mean, it was, it kind of, that was, actually, no, I don't even know what I'm saying. That was all on me. I kind of overshot my jump again, which you know, I can do a lot in just kill myself because of it so I would go over there because there's a one up but I'm not gonna take the chance of missing it so I'm just gonna take the safe way and go this way because there's a one up right there anyway so it doesn't really matter anyways so yeah other than that this level can be uh, pretty easy actually if you know like where to go and you already know where all the pathways are it's actually really easy A lot of home attacking here, and this part. Oh my gosh! Did you see that? I wasn't even doing anything, and he still just walked off. I swear, if I die here, you see, you see what I mean? I mean, really, 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 I'm starting to hate this level. I mean, I've already really kind of hate it already. It's not as hard as like, it's not like freaking. What's it called? Um, Eggman Land Hard, but it's still, like, a pretty hard level. Well, for me, anyways. I'm not sure if it's just me, because maybe it's my controller or something. Because my controller is, doesn't work that well, to whereas it'll just start moving by itself. Like, it'll start making the character move by itself. Or maybe it's just me. Maybe because I've said it uh, in a few of my videos over at my, over at my own channel that, uh, I can't really talk while playing video games. It's kind of just a flaw that I have. I've been doing so pretty good so far. I mean, I've only died like a couple times. What? You see what I mean? I fell through the floor there. I've already lost like... F I've already died like four times on this one level. Oh my god. So done with this whole level. I'm so tempted to actually like try to get that one up over there, but I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna chance it. So let's just keep on going with the level. Plus, we don't have that much time, anyways. Yeah, because my camera doesn't have that much time on the time amount, I guess. So that's why I kind of wanted to split this finale in half, but uh. I'm not sure, because after you finish this level, it goes straight into the final boss of the story, so uh, I, I thought it would just make sense to just do them all in one episode, so uh, yeah, so these 
swinging hammer, the swinging hammer section can get kind of like annoying at, at sometimes, but uh, it's not as annoying as like one of those. Eh. Oh jeez, oh jeez, that was so not cool. I almost died there. That hammer almost like blocked my path or something. Let's just come down here, and I think this is one of the sections that I was talking about. Let me see. No, never mind. It's not. Hold on. Okay. Whoa! Oh, jeez. Oh, I thought there was a bottomless pit there. Anyways, got a checkpoint, so that's good. So we want to start all the way from the beginning again. Or not from the beginning, but uh. Anyway, so here you can kind of just fall. But you have to fall on the platform or else you'll die, you know, of course. But uh. Yeah, so. Well. I wasn't really calling it. Well, yeah, you're you're basically dying, but you have to come down here anyway. So. No. What the heck was that? What in the world? Did you guys see that? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What the heck was that? See this? You see this? This is just insane. A controller act up again. I know you're probably not going to believe me when I say that because you can't actually see the controller. Or you can't see if I'm moving the controller or not. So, uh, anyways. We're kind of... Like, this is what I like to call the halfway mark of the level, because we're kind of, you know, halfway. But anyway, it's good that they give you a, uh, one up here, so that's pretty cool. And also a lightning shield, so connect some rings. And, good. and I believe if you come up here, you'll get another one up, yeah. That's pretty cool. They give you, they actually give you a ton of one ups in this level. I'm not really sure. Probably because, uh, the final boss is kind of annoying. It can be kind of annoying sometimes, just with the glitches and all that stuff. So anyways, like, these things are kind of fun to kill. You can just go from one to one, just, <coughs> sorry, to start homing, attack one of them, and just go from one to another, just from one to another. It's pretty cool. Anyways, so what you're supposed to do is come up here, and then you jump over those spikes, obviously. And, uh, yeah. So, like, that's one of the, um... When I first played this level, one of the sections I that was kind of confusing to me because uh, I really know where the exit. I am just so done with this game. Like I don't even. I was above the fan. How did I die there? I was above the fan. This is like the easiest section in the whole level. Ah, oh, maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I do suck at video games. I don't know. Could be. Jeez, man, but that was just so not fair. I even doubt that was me. Yeah, this section can be pretty annoying, too. There we go. So you're not supposed to keep on moving. You're supposed to, um, let the, uh... You don't even really have to come up here, but there's a speed shoe up here. And I just like speeding through this next section. So you can, like, kind of just jump over those. I believe there's a one-up behind here. If I'm... Correct. Let's see. So just rings. Is there just gonna be rings? Yeah, it's just rings. I thought so. Waste of time. I'm not even gonna avoid. I mean, even try going over there. So, I mean, in this, this is a second room where you have to do this, but it's pretty obvious in here. Just come up here. And this is your way out. Up here. A little spin or speed thing there. Oh, jeez. Oh, I thought it died there again. Oh! Yeah, so here you're supposed to fall, just... So just don't do anything, really. Just fall. You're not gonna die or anything. Unless you get hit by one of those... Little... Spike balls. Then you might die if you have no rings, but, uh... I think there's a 1-Up up, up there. I don't know, I'm just scouting for 1-Ups right now, because... I... Died a lot in this one level, so... We should be coming up close to the end of the level, at least. We've got, like, six minutes on this level already. Now, where do we go from here? Let me see. I'm gonna stop attacking these things for a second. Okay, hold on. 
Where do we go again? I think I... Alright, hold on. I think I know. Yeah, I'm here. I thought so. It's kind of a hidden... Not really hidden, but... You can't see it because the doors are closed, but... Uh, anyway, so... Checkpoints. Kill these guys. Because they're annoying and nobody likes them. And collect some rings. And do we still have this? From the... I actually forgot that we still had this from... When did we get this shield? Like, a long time ago, actually. Like, somewhere in the beginning of the level, we still have it. That's pretty impressive. Actually, we didn't get hit once. Oh, jeez, no! Yeah, see, those goals, those guys are pretty annoying. They can, like, grab onto you and stuff. Anyways, charge up your speed spin attack thing. Oh, jeez. Serious? There we go. I actually thought I had to stop my speed attack thing. Yeah, so we finished it in eight minutes. Uh, okay, I guess. I mean, it's not. I mean, yeah, it's kind of okay. Because this level was kind of time consuming, so. Anyway, so now we have the boss, which is really annoying. Yeah, not bad. And basically, because of the glitches and how you can glitch to the floor and stuff, so I'm not really excited for this. Here we go, the final boss in Sonic Story, the Egg Viper. Let me actually pause for right now, <laughs> just to see how much time we have. Alright, we have about 12 minutes. Not that long, but uh, let's see here. Get a load of this. Get Look out for his this. get a load of this lasers. Oh my gosh! Get a load of Did I seriously just die there? Oh, okay, you have to collect rings. I keep on forgetting to collect rings, they're um all the way at the end here, so... Remember to collect some rings over here. Just collect the one for now. You're gonna, you're gonna want to save some. Cause yeah, this boss is just gonna be taking them left and right. Oh jeez, that was too close. Die. Yeah. So once he opens this little cockpit there, you know to like jump onto it. That's basically how every Sonic boss goes. I mean, boss with Sonic. Now he's got this little bomb laser, which you really want to look out for, because you can die by touching the fire, too, so you have to look out for that. And this time, you're supposed to, like, just home attack on the buttons, but you don't want to do it too fast or too slow, because sometimes you can, like, actually, um, glitch through the, uh, you know, boss itself, so... Yeah, sometimes it can be pretty and oh my gosh, what's this guy doing? Oh Ford gets a load of this laters lasers or whatever. Oh jeez. But that 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 um laser that bob laser laser is actually um pretty easy. It's easier to avoid than the uh get a load of this laters lasers. That's what I call them because that's what he says when he shoots them. I don't know. Anyways. Hashtag get a load of this if you're watching this, Chris. Chris, you know Chris. You know him. The C and JSC. Hashtag get a load of this. Anyways. Oh, uh, okay. Now here, I don't even think there's any way to avoid those rings. I mean, those lasers. So, just make sure you have rings and you might as well just let him hit you. Because I don't think there's any way to actually avoid that attack. So, yeah. We already taken, like, more than half of his damage. So, um. Oh, jeez. Oh, my gosh. I didn't see him coming. And you don't really want to be jumping if he shoots you with the get a load of this lasers, cause he, then he's gonna be uh, 
Oh, jeez. Okay, I really like this this way of attacking. How did I not attack him? Okay, camera. How did I not attack him there? Basically, what you're supposed to do is um jump on those little wheel things that he shoots at you, and then he'll bring him to you, to his head, and then you can like attack his cockpit, I guess. So you just gotta jump on them, cause they can hurt you if you like if they touch your if you touch their spikes. So you're gonna wanna make sure to jump there. Anyway, so. Yeah, so he's basically just gonna wreck that other bridge, which we don't really need. We're not gonna go over there anymore, anyways. Uh, just collect some rings just to be safe. Jump. Okay, that was actually pretty close. All right, die. Okay, I think two more hits and then that should be it. Wow, this boss actually took less time than I thought it would. Anyways, okay. maybe one more. Yeah, I think it's one more shot actually. Yes! We did it! We've beaten Sonic Story! Anyways, I'm just gonna end the video off here because there's a cutscene coming up. There's a cutscene coming up, so I'm gonna end the video off here. Anyways, thank you for watching Sonic Story, my Let's Play on Sonic Story. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to JSC Gaming. And I'll see you, well, join me next time as we begin Tale Story. So, see you later, guys. I hope you liked it.